Hi guys, today I'm going to do an unboxing video and review of the Flysky FS i6X uh, control system. So let's open the box and see what we're getting inside. So inside we're getting the instruction manual, we're getting some stickers that can be used here on the switches, and we're getting this receiver. This is the FSX6B receiver, it's a pretty light one, we're gonna weigh it later in this video. And of course we get in this controller, it's powered by four AA batteries. Instruction manual shows us all the function of the transmitter, how to bind it with the receiver and gives us all the specifications. The channels are between six to 10 and we can also see all the dimensions here of this uh, transmitter. In addition, we're getting this cable. This cable connects, it's a USB cable, connects to the trainer port at, and allows us to use this uh, with any flight simulator on the computer. And it's pretty useful when you're learning to fly and don't want to, to uh, crash an expensive drone. Just use this with a flight simulator and you get more realistic feeling of flying a quadcopter. The gimbal feels okay. This is the throttle, it's not so smooth, but you know, this transmitter costs about 50 bucks, so comparing to a $200 uh, Taranis is not that fair. So I think for 50 bucks, you get a pretty good value for money, especially considering that you get in uh, this uh, SBUS re receiver as well. So let's go through all the functions of this remote. By the way, you have six switches. You have this one, the SWD, which has two posi positions. The SWC has three positions. The VRB and VRA are rotating in this manner. SWB has two positions and the SWA has two positions as well. Powering the transmitter is done by just sliding this up and it immediately turns on without any problems. To enter the menu, all you have to do, press the OK for about one and a half seconds. Then you can choose between system and setup. We're gonna start with the system. So you press OK and you can see all these options. You can cha change the model. You can change between 99 models, I think. Sorry, you have 20 models, so you have limited to 20 models, which is not that bad because probably you don't have more than 20 models in your home, hopefully. And you can change the model name to whatever you want. Type, you can choose between an airplane or hexico helicopter. If you fly in a quadcopter, leave it on airplane or glider. Uh, by the way, if you want to just to cancel, don't save anything, just hit the cancel and the options you changed won't be saved. You can also copy the model, reset it. RX setup, you can change the battery here in the, for example, the internal sensors here, when it's low and when it's high. Uh, fail safe, what happens if uh, it will lose connection with the receiver. Sensors list, you can choose between different sensors for telemetry. Speed distance, not sure what it is. And the IBUS setup, by the way, the provider receiver is IBUS. I said earlier SBUS, I was wrong, this is IBUS. And let's go to the, the setup. So in the setup menu, you can change reverse for all these, uh, for all the channels. So you can change between normal and reverse. Endpoints for the channels. Display, you can you can, it shows you that all the channels it's using. By the way, as default, it comes the auxiliary of VRA and VRB, so you can see it changes. I recommend to switch to other channels if you use it to change modes on your quadcopter, but these are the default ones. Let's go back. You can change the auxiliary channels. So the channel five and channel six, the soul is VRA and VRB, which means if you change it, let's change this to the 62 SWA. Oh, it doesn't work because we have to change it somewhere else. We're gonna change it. 
So in order to turn on the auxiliary channels, you have to go to the system settings and go down. By the way, you can also change the modes in this uh, six mode in this menu. I think I forgot to show you earlier. So you can choose between mode two, mode one, three, and four. In order to save the settings, surprisingly as it, as it is, you will have to long press cancel. Otherwise, if you press the, long press the OK, it will return it to default settings. So if you want to turn on the SWA and SWC, and long press the cancel. Now it saved earlier, I tried it and it didn't save. So now you know, and we can go to auxiliary channels and we can change the source to SWA and SWC. And again, long press the cancel in order to save it. In addition, we have all these trim buttons we see here. When we hear this sound, it means it's back to center. And we also have a dedicated bind key. In the, this section, it tells you how to use it. And the receiver that comes with this, this is the IBIS receiver that we're getting is already come pre-bind with this remote controller. The receiver is uh, pretty light and weighs almost five grams. And you can see the antennas are interchangeable. So if you have a problem and it got cut or something like this, you can just replace them with uh, this standard standard connector. I think for 50 bucks, I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to do the next thing I'm going to do is bind it with one of my quadcopters and I uh, will see how it goes. But I believe I've reviewed earlier versions, other versions of the FlySky, like the FlySky FS i6s and it was a pretty good remote controller and it provides a very good value for money in case you don't want to invest in a more expensive remote controller. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this remote controller, feel free to ask in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.